This is a Aero Shed. I'm not sure the exact model. I'll put it on the screen if I can find it. Bought it at Lowe's. It cost me $300 for this shed, which is crazy. I also bought the plywood on, um, that you see right there. Plywood cost me 100 bucks, so the whole thing 400 bucks. Currently, this is how I get power. The power goes from my dad's garage. It goes through here with an extension cord. It goes up there and goes in this insulated hole we made. Let me just kind of do a quick walk around. This is the back. Just a plain shed. Let's take a look inside. Uh, inside here, I got my shop flag from Mighty Car Mods. And let me show you right here, there's the electricity coming down. And it goes down to this power strip I have right here. And attached to it, I have a Bluetooth radio so I can listen to music while I'm working on my bike. And I have uh, this light here for the lights that you see up there. And I also have this light right here. So if I'm working on anything on the bench, I got a nice bright light where I can see. To show you how well these lights work, I'm gonna go ahead and close the door. Now, if I turn this light off, it's completely dark in here, besides the door. But with the lights on, just give it a minute, you can see everything. The lights I bought off Amazon, they'll be in the description. Uh, this light right here, Amazon, I'll put that in the description. Uh, so if you're interested in any of that, you can find it. Um, my shed is a mess, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> this is the workbench my dad made for me. And we we're gonna put a pegboard, I might still do that. And I have a vise to go on this as well. But this is basically just the workbench. I got a little bit of an anti-vibration pad. I just like it because I can put stuff on it and I don't have to worry about it damaging the wood. Over here I have a paper towel thing that just sits on a couple screws. Here's my old uh, floor. My floor lift for the KLR I had. Actually, these are the KLR wheels too. I still haven't sold those. Uh, and actually, I use this, since I can't use this on the VFR, obviously, I use this to sit on. This is a great little lift too. It's very easy to use and it's pretty strong. This bucket is all sorts of, with the exception of this, I don't know how that got in there. Um, everything in this bucket is chain related. So we got chain cleaner, chain wax, we got towels, we got cardboard, everything I need to do my chain job. So I just take that and I do the chains. Over here on the side, I got a breaker bar, very useful to have, half inch breaker bar. I got a compression gauge. I buy bikes a lot, so I always like to check compression first because when you buy a bike, you wanna make sure it has compression. And if it doesn't, then you gotta realize that, okay, maybe I have to do rings or maybe I have to rebuild the bike. And you gotta weigh out the options if it's really worth it. Over here, I got some sockets some allen wrench sets i got a funnel i got some torque wrenches back here i got a circuit tester which i've never used i got a dremel kit in here service manuals over there a battery tender thing right here some gloves mechanics gloves some more sockets here some scissors some adapters so you can put like a three-fourths to a half inch things like that here's a uh Genesis bottle, which I use for brake bleeding. This is my electrical stuff. If I have to do any electrical work, got all sorts of stuff over there. I really like this set. I got this set, I believe Walmart. And it's an open end wrench set. And it also has, what I really like about it, is you got a ratchet for the wrench, which is just, it's so useful, you wouldn't even believe it. These are great too, needle nose pliers. This right here is like the best screwdriver I've ever owned. You can change it so it uh, ratchets like that. You go reverse, forward, and neutral, which is good. So it's like a regular screwdriver. And you got different ends in the back here. It's the only screwdriver you really need. Here I got a little switchblade. Got some thread locker over here. A bolt organizer right there. So if I walk around here to this side of the shed, uh, on the bottom here, I have some old stuff from the CBR. This is the old CBR fender eliminator. I got some Marvel Mystery Oil, some antifreeze coolant, some more coolant. Got some hoses, my stock CBR exhaust is back there. Some heat shield from the CBR. I got some engine paint, anything like paint, liquid, anything. I got gum out carb cleaner, chain cleaner, engine degreaser. I got some rubber glove or latex gloves here, which are very useful. You want those when you're doing oil changes and stuff. Got a headlamp right here, which is also very good to have. 
Got a, another flashlight right here. Here's an adapter kit for the compression tester. Uh, over here, we got some extra plastics for my CBR. This right here is great. This is the new oil. I use it for my car mainly, but it also works for the bikes. Just kind of gets the mess out of there. It's kind of nice because I hate, hate when oil's a big mess. Uh, and here's also my pit bull uh, stand for the swing arm for this bike right here. I mean, this shit's great. It fits my VFR and I have plenty of room. I could probably fit a small cruiser in here. If you did want to put like a giant cruiser, you'd have to do it sideways. Honestly, last year, I've had the shed for two, three years now. Last, or two years ago, I'm sorry. There was two feet of snow on that roof and I stood on top of the roof, shoveling the snow off, which was stupid of me because I could have easily went into the friggin' the shed. Uh, but the roof held, which that's unbelievable to me. I, it really shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> it's not rated for that kind of weight, but I mean it's a nice strong roof for what it is I mean, you don't think it's much being tin, but I'm surprised at how strong this is And these doors just slide shut and I got a lock right here a little padlock I can put on it And that's it. That's my shed